Well, good day, folks. Thanks for joining us once again. I'm Stuart Dunn, the creator of Universal Rocks, and I have by my side my good friend Jeff Waters from Dallas Aquarium and Pond. And by the way, Jeff, you've been in this game, haven't you, making aquariums for quite a while? I think you used to own, what was it? What was it? Oceanic Aquariums. Oceanic Aquariums. Well, we didn't have them in Australia, but I do hear that they were pretty extensive throughout. So our deal is what we're trying to do is create and change how aquariums are decorated in the past. And uh, I'm going to start, if you don't mind, on one of your big aquariums here. This is what, a 140 gallon tank? It's a 140 gallon aquarium and uh, over here, Mr. Dunn, we don't refer to that as a big tank. Uh, that's a big tank over there. Why don't we go <laughs> over and play with that 800 gallon aquarium? Well, 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 you got, got me excited now because that's the exact stuff that I like to decorate and make it look like it's sitting in a, in a major tourist attraction or at a zoo or something like that. Well, I tell you what, I've been doing this for about 14 years and I have enough decorations to make this look pretty special. So if you don't mind, I want to get my teeth into this. Let's get started. Okay. okay, Jeff, come on in here, mate. Grab on that other end there. What we've got here is a flat rock background and it's, it's really low key with th dimension. But what we'll use is a lot of decoration pieces to bring that 3D effect out so we can get the fish swimming in and around that. So this is, this is probably the easiest background we've got to install in your big tank here. All I need you to do is help me feed it through one of the openings that are up the top and, uh, and then we will just silicon, silicon some Velcro um, back to the back of the tank, but I might cheat, I might just use some tape just so we can make this work quickly. Now you've always got to be careful not to scratch the glass, so just gently bring it in nice and slowly. Jeff, slow down mate, You're too fast. Okay, so once we get in there, I'm actually going to hop in, if you can just hold that back edge up. Okay. I wouldn't mind swimming in this when we've got all the fish in here. Okay, so lift that right up. There you go. Okay, then it'll come right to me here. So we'll just pull the, pull the back of the Velcro stickers off for now and then we'll just push it to the back of the tank. Okay, so we've just put the background in. That took a little bit of time and like I said before, if this was a permanent s situation, then you would silicon that in and you'd have to wait till the silicon's cured. But in our case, that took us a couple of minutes to do it. And if I can just get Jeff. Jeff, do you mind just grabbing one of the big BFR background decoration pieces and we're going to feed that in. This is, this is where you really see the advantage of using our product. The fact that you can just bend it like that, Jeff, and squeeze it in. So once again, be careful not to scratch the glass. So if you can help me by just standing up on those beautiful rock steps by, the, by you actually. I'm going to feed this end in first so let's bend it a little bit. Just go back, that's it. Okay. Nice and slowly. Okay, can you just hold there? I'm going to hop in the tank again. What you can do if you're really worried about scratching the glass, if, you, if you've never done this before, you can put some cardboard along the front of the, the tank. So that'll give you a little bit more protection. There you go. Hey, not bad for a beginner, you know, what you just did. Okay, so in this case, this sits pretty close to the back. But if we want it to sit perfectly to the back and not let fish get behind and all the rest, then it'll be just a matter of propping that and putting some silicon little spots on that to hold it right back. Um, we'll look at that a little bit later, but let's just get some more decorations. There you go. Thank you, buddy. Okay, what we've got here, and this is a little BFR background, and uh, there's a bit of a history to this piece. It's been used many, many times, and... I actually cut it off the top of that. This would have worked in your little tank, your 140 gallon tank that you had over there. Uh, there's actually a couple of versions also that are a little bit taller which would probably be better for that. But that, that originally came off the top of that and this came from the coast of Australia and, it, and I had three days just sitting on the beautiful coast of Australia painting rubber onto rocks and, and voila, we've got this fantastic looking rock. So what I want to do with this, I want to put that down the end here. 
Hey, Jeff, can you just grab me a, that biggest rock just sitting down there, please? All right. Okay. You Thank you. Well, as you can see, it's not too heavy, and this is one of the greatest benefits to this. You wouldn't want to be standing in a big 800-gallon tank with, you know, half-inch thick glass or three-quarter-inch glass holding a rock of this size. I mean, easy to move and trip and scratch your tank or just completely bust the tank to bits. So this is a real advantage with this. You can decorate a big tank and also the little tanks just really, really easy. So just watch this. We do what we call put and look. So we can just place that. I like putting that, you know, even though it covers up this beautiful big piece at the back, it lets the fish swim through and it creates like a crevasse look. So your fish swim in behind it, you don't see them for a minute and they come out the other end and it looks really, really natural. So just, just don't be afraid to get it perfect the first time. Just put, step back, have a look, grab another piece and uh, have fun. That's what it's all about. Jeff, could I just grab the little one to the left too, please? So <coughs> all these you're able to get. Um, there's a lot smaller ones which are great for the smaller tanks. So you, there's a whole range from really, really big rocks to small ones. So we've got some really good tree branches and tree tr stumps and all these different bits of wood. Uh, this is a great example and I think if you can really zoom in and have a good look at that, this has um, got every finite detail of a really old weathered piece of wood. And in actual fact, that's how we get all of our moulds. Everything's moulded from a real piece of wood or real rock. And, you know, you get the, get the look, but you also get, you know, a cavity behind, which I will just turn this around and show you. Uh, and that can work out really, really well for uh, reptiles as well, where the reptiles want to um, hide in there and sleep the night, and then they come out later on. But also fish, they can, um, they can get in behind there, and you can cut cut this just with a sharp knife and we might show you that later. You can cut this with a sharp knife that way your fish can swim in and out and it also helps with any water stagnating in, in there which is a concern for some people. So let's just put this in place. Both, both these rocks are actually both the same. Um, so if, if that's the case for whatever reason you place one a different angle and one a little bit higher than the other in the gravel and no one would know any different. There is many, many others to choose from, but this is just a good example to show that by turning a rock one direction and one another way there, uh, that you won't really notice. They're also hand coloured, so there's a little bit different variations in each of them. So in this case, just put that down there. You couldn't drop that if it was a real rock. There you, there you go, your tank's finished. Um, place. Maybe that can go there. <coughs> okay, so now it's time to put some gravel. We'll get some gravel in there. We'll get some um, decoration plants and um, it will be ready to fill up. just jumped outside the fish tank so I'm having a look back here and I tell you what I, I'm actually pretty happy with it. What do you think Jeff? Stuart I think it looks great. I particularly like the arch you created with the big log. Yep. yep. Uh, it looks to me like something I'd expect to find in a zoo or a public aquarium not your typical uh, home aquarium type setup. It's fantastic. Uh, thank you mate. Thanks very much. Well, that's only one way we did that. And we had a little bit of fun doing that. So there's many other ways we could decorate that same tank. But I'll tell you what, I'd love to get my teeth into some other tanks. What, what else you got? Well, I'd love to do a big one for you. I mean, we, we can go anywhere really between 4 foot and 12 foot. So I mean, we can do one up to 12 foot by 4 feet tall. Is that be just pretty much of a monster. The, the Texas thing again, it's got to be it's, bigger? It's, uh, it is Texas. Texas.